What's good Raider Nation? Today I want to talk to you guys about if I believe the Oakland Raiders made a mistake by moving Trent Brown from left tackle last year to right tackle this year uh, and keeping Colton Miller at left tackle now. Uh, of course a lot of people are going to argue and they're going to say why would the Raiders pay an offensive tackle 66 million dollars to have him play right tackle. Um, well, the first thing is first, which is super obvious. Uh, Trent Brown is the best tackle that was a free agent this year, uh, and the Oakland Raiders got the best tackle. After Brown, there was a huge drop off in talent. Um, but I want to take it even a step further than that, and I want to discuss with you guys uh, some other reasons as to why I believe the Oakland Raiders uh, should keep Trent Brown uh, on that right side. Uh, first and foremost, just between Trent Brown and Colton Miller, uh, Trent Brown has way more experience at right tackle in the NFL. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Brown played uh, three of his first four years at right tackle. Only in New England did he move to left tackle. Uh, so, so just statistically speaking, um, on the right side, Trent Brown played uh, in 2015, he wasn't a full-time starter. He played 186 snaps, all at right tackle. In 2016, he played 957 snaps at right tackle. Uh, in 2017, in a year which he got hurt, uh, he played 595 snaps at right tackle. Uh, in total, he played about 150 snaps at left tackle his first three years. So in total, 150 snaps at left tackle, um, over 1,700 snaps at right tackle over his first three years. Last year in New England, um, he played all his slap, all his snaps at left tackle, 1,300 snaps, all at left tackle last year. Now, just comp just considering that, uh, those, you know, that situation alone, uh, if the Raiders wanted to move Colton Miller to right tackle, it would be a much harder transition, especially for a, a rookie making a second year leap into the NFL. I think it makes sense to move Trent Brown back to right tackle. Uh, I'm sure Coach Gruden talked to both of the players uh, individually. Of course, not going to bring them both together, but individually, I'm sure Coach Gruden talked to both of these players, uh, and he probably came to the conclusion, which is Trent Brown can make the switch much easier and much smoother to right tackle. Uh, so it just makes sense to move him back. Uh, he did it for a long time. I think what a lot of people who never play football, uh, who never played offensive line don't understand is uh, making a switch from left to right, it's not impossible. People do it all the time. But it's not as easy as one day you're able to just boom, you know, move to one side and now you're, uh, you know, everything's perfectly fine because uh, when you're playing left tackle, you have to put your left hand down. When you're playing right tackle, you have to put your right hand down. Uh, it makes a difference also from the way your stance is. If you're playing right tackle, uh, your left foot will be about six inches in front of your uh, right foot. So your left foot will be about here and your right foot will be about right there, right? Uh, so your stance is gonna vary depending on what which hand is down and which uh, side you're playing on. Uh, and then your footwork as far as if it's a run play to the right versus a run play to the left, all that's gonna have to switch and it's gonna vary. So there's a lot of things that go into making that switch. Now, of course, for Colton Miller, that switch would be much harder. Now, uh, keep in mind, Colton Miller did play right tackle in college. Uh, it was, I think, only his last year that he really played left tackle. Prior to that, he was a right tackle. Um, but Trent Brown, on the other hand, has NFL experience at right tackle. Uh, taking it a step even further than that, uh, there are teams out there who have better right tackles than left tackles. So paying Trent Brown, uh, you know, who's the better of the two tackles, it's not a big deal that he's playing right tackle, especially considering the fact that Colton Miller's on a rookie deal. If Colton Miller was not on a rookie deal, uh, let's say we had a tackle that we we're paying four or five million dollars to, um, there's a chance at that point the Raiders would have put Trent Brown at left tackle and moved that tackle to right tackle because we all know left tackle is absolutely more important. Uh, but keep in mind, uh, there's a lot of players out there who are right tackles and they are the best tackle on their team. Um, for example, Bobby Massey, he's the, the right tackle for the Chicago Bears. He's the best tackle on that team, but he plays right tackle. Another tackle uh, for the New Orleans Saints, uh, he was a left tackle last year, but this year he's a right tackle. Um, you know, uh, he, and he was a first round pick for the New Orleans Saints. Um, there's also other tackles like Mitchell Schwartz for the Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, best tackle on the team, but he plays right tackle. So uh, again, there's a lot of different tackles who are playing right tackle 
who are the better tackles just on that team alone. Um, another fact, last year there were five offense tackles who allowed either zero sacks or just one sack. Uh, and three of those five were right tackles. So it's not like, you know, good tackles don't play the right side. Uh, they absolutely do. So I don't think the notion that uh, one tackle is better than the other, therefore he should play the right side or he should play the left side. It's at the end of the day, an offensive tackle is an offensive tackle. Uh, you can be right tackle, you can be left tackle. A tackle is a tackle. Uh, you know, you still have to anchor the offensive line. I totally understand the biggest difference is if you're playing right tackle, the quarterback can, can see it a little bit better, right? Uh, just because of the way he's, his body's positioned when he's gonna make that throw. Um, but at the end of the day, offensive tackle is offensive tackle. Um, plus, if you look at how defenses line up today, uh, I have some of the statistics for you guys. A lot of good pass rushers line up on the left side of the defense, which is over the right tackle. And I'll give you guys some statistics on that. Last year, Khalil Mack lined up 241 times to pass rush on the left side and 236 times uh, from the right side, right? Um, so, which means that Khalil Mack last year lined up over the right tackle 50.5% uh, of the time, which is more than he lined up over the left tackle. That's one player, uh, one of the best players as well. Um, Joey Boza, although he lined up more over the left tackle, he lined up 128 times over the left tackle, but 123 times over the right tackle. So think about that. That's the difference of five snaps. Primarily, he's going to be going up against both of the offense tackles, uh, both him and Mac. Uh, another player. Uh, who's obviously no longer in our division, uh, D. Ford. He lined up 360 times over the right tackle and only 200 times over the left tackle. So D. Ford primarily played over the right tackle. Um, Von Miller, same thing. Almost 400 times did he line up uh, over the right tackle versus uh, about 60 times that he lined up uh, on the opposite side, right? So just considering those numbers right there uh, you can see that it doesn't matter if, if your your tackle is better on the right side or the left side players are going to move all over the field right um jj watt same thing lined up almost 600 times uh to rush the passer over the right tackle and only lined up about 80 times on the opposite side right um, over the left tackle Melvin Gordon, same thing, 312 times, I'm sorry, Melvin Ingram uh, for, from the Chargers, 312 times he lined up over the right tackle, uh, 258 times he lined up over the left tackle. And the list just goes on and on and on. Uh, honestly, from what it looks like, the better offensive tackles honestly line up over the right tackle from what I see. You know, so it's, I, I don't think it's fair to say that uh, the Raiders are making a mistake by putting Trent Brown on the right side and keeping Colton Miller on the left side. I just don't see that, that, that argue being, you know, I just don't see it making sense. Um, overall, offensive tackle is offensive tackle. Uh, if you, if you have one on a rookie scale and, you know, you don't want to hinder his progress, you keep him on that left side, right? Uh, all off season, he's probably worked. Uh, with his left hand down, with his left foot back, uh, you know, working his left tackle position. So I think the Raiders are doing the correct correct thing here. You know, you got to keep uh, the younger player on the left side. You can get the experienced guy on the right side. Plus, if I asked you guys right now, uh, who's going to be on our team in five years, Colton Miller or Trent Brown, I, could, uh, I can guarantee you 90% of, 90% chance that Colton Miller is still on our team and would you want Colton Miller uh, going from left tackle to right tackle and they're having to switch back or would you rather just keep him at left tackle you know plus if he can't succeed at left tackle uh, we, we know what we're at with him you know if he can't succeed at left tackle after having a full off season um, highly unlikely he'll be able to move to right tackle and succeed at that position right especially considering the fact that uh, he has to now get used to the right side over the left side uh, overall i still love the signing um I, i'm not mad at the fact that one is playing the other position vice versa i don't think it really matters uh, e even though the media uh, and other people might say it's a big deal um i don't think it's a big deal you know, you guys can watch the film. You guys can watch the tape. Uh, if your right tackle sucks and he's getting beat, um, he'll get just he'll get 
just as quickly to the quarterback if your left tackle is getting beat and if he sucks. It's the same thing, it makes no difference. Um, the biggest dif difference is going to be uh, it, one's the blind side, one's not. Um, but I think Colton Miller is going to get much better. And honestly, I, I from the first three weeks of film watching Colton Miller, um, he could be a better pass protector than Trent Brown. Uh, one thing that Trent Brown especially over the next three to four to five years is he's gonna get much slower he's already pretty slow out of his stance you know uh, but we'll see what happens right he can always improve and, and uh, you know the Raiders are gonna have to help him out we're gonna have to keep a tackle on his side I'm sorry we're gonna have to keep a tight end on his side um, especially if he has to go up against like Y9 defenses right most teams don't run that but uh, you never know teams might uh, you get a fast player uh, in there that's gonna be able to get upfield like Vaughn Miller. Uh, he might be able to give um, uh, Trent Brown some some problems, but uh, Vaughn Miller also said Trent Brown was the best offense tackle he's ever went up against. So uh, we'll see kind of what happens. Overall, I'm not mad at the move. I actually expected it. Uh, it's crazy because I actually made a video. Uh, the video I posted went up on Friday. I actually created it on Thursday. So I created the video on Thursday, uh, which was the video, um, uh, it went up on Friday, which was me saying that I think it's confirmed that Colton Miller plays left, Trent Brown plays right. So I created that on Thursday uh, and then uploaded it on Friday. Uh, and then Friday afternoon, John Gruden actually confirmed it. Uh, a reporter asked him directly um, who will be playing right, who will be playing left, and, and Gruden confirmed it, which is crazy because, uh, you know, if I paid attention a little bit sooner, I would have noticed that. Um, but still, it's fascinating, right? I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you guys think that the Raiders and Gruden are making a mistake by not keeping the better of the two tackles today uh, at right tackle uh, rather than moving Brown to left tackle, moving Miller? Um, how do you guys feel about Gabe Jackson also being confirmed that he'll be the right guard? Uh, him and, and um, Trent Brown, right? Uh, rumors are Trent Brown's about 380 pounds. Gabe Jackson's about 330 to 340. You know, that's going to be a very dominating punishing side of that offensive line uh, now of course we thought the same thing with uh, Kelechi um, Hudson and Gabe and, and obviously that didn't work out last year as well as we had hoped you know a lot of people don't like um, uh, our, our offensive coach Tom Cable so our offensive line coach so we're gonna have to you know figure out all these different things but I don't know what you guys think please like share comment subscribe if you guys are not subscribers I really appreciate you guys support and you guys watching my videos um, I am moving, just an update for you guys, uh, and so I'll have a studio set up. I won't be recording in my car, uh, which might mean that these videos might be going up at different times. We'll kind of see what happens. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time with the Game Film Breakdown.